what's going on? What it do? What it do? What it done? And I said, Gee, they hot, honey. Hey, everybody. Hey. Get myself situated here. Let's get this party started tonight because we had a few things to talk about. Um, I first want to start off with um, I need y'all to be praying for my family. We didn't lost two in one week and um, sending my love to Muskogee. So Keep us in your prayers. Um, also, I just wanted to talk about really quick, um, just really being safe and aware out here of what's going on and being aware of your surroundings. It's just so much going on right now. And, you know, I just think that we just really, really, really need to be more alert and really like paying attention to what's going on around us just because it's not happening to you it don't mean it's not happening to someone you know next to you in the other car or whatever and it's not your business or whatever but you know if you see something say something I mean fuck all that snitching and all that because if it was your loved one you would want someone to say something so I just want to send my condolences out to the young lady's life that was taken and I don't know what went on it doesn't matter what went on I'm just sadly heartbroken by this um, our, our, young, our, our young people they're not getting them to live their lives and this is terrible I mean these children are growing up without parents like we got to stop and think about this we cannot allow all of these children to grow up and now it's not even just not your father gone it's your mother it's your they I mean your brother I mean your sister is it's, it's too much y'all and we, we need to stop it like right now like this is too much and um I know when things happen people get angry and I know you know a lot of people you want to retaliate when someone does something to your loved one I get it I get it okay so I just want to send my condolences out and I just hope that you know, all these folks they sent in for this Operation Legend because they ain't even handled that situation. I just hope that they are here for the right reasons and they're here to do their job. If not, they can get the fuck on out of here, straight out, because we don't need them. We got enough bullshit going on. We don't need a whole bunch of other mother, a whole bunch of more motherfuckers in here adding to it and not doing shit. Okay. So on to. Um, and I'm open for any, you know, you guys feel free to go ahead and drop them comments or whatever. I'm good with that. Y'all know that. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and get into this back to school thing. Because um, I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very worried. I have um, 16 grandchildren, for those of you that don't know me. And I need to know that they're going to be okay when they leave their parents' homes and they go to this schoolhouse. I need to know that, you know, I'm not going to have to bury a grandchild. And I don't give a fuck what they talking about. Um, the children aren't dying from the disease and this, that, and the third. You get to putting them all together, we're going to see some deaths, okay? And don't nobody want to bury their child, especially due to some bullshit like this. So, ladies, if you single parent men, single parent women, 
Y'all gonna have to bite down on this one. Ten toes down, chest out, head up. And get y'all kids the education they need right in your own home. Okay? And if you don't have the resources, as far as I know they're giving them tablets and computers and everything they need to work with. But if you're not savvy on the computer or you're not, you know, you don't think that you can help them, that's okay. Don't be ashamed to call somebody and ask them to help. You know, I mean, that's the problem. Our pride gets in the way. But when it comes to your child's education, your pride cannot get in the way. So I say, I don't think no child should be going back to school. And if I gotta have school at my house for my grandchildren, then so be it. That's what the fuck it's gonna be. Because I can't take no chances. Like my granddaughters, the triplets, they have asthma and you know, so that's an underlying sickness. I can't take no chance of them going. My two granddaughters by my daughter, they have asthma too. I mean, I can't take no chances. I don't want to bury no more children. And trust me, y'all don't want to have to bury a child. So I just think that this, this school thing, I mean, even if we have to like, go out and get petition signs or whatever. I mean, they're saying it's your choice, but in a minute, they gonna start pulling rank and start saying that this is what you have to do. So know your law, get on in there and, you know, figure out what's going on so you can protect your child. So you can tell others what it is that you found and share the word. I mean, y'all go on Facebook and do everything else Go on Facebook and let's talk about these kids and this school and what's going on because this shit's fucked up. And now they trying to send it on down to our kids and have them fucked up. No ma'am, no sir, we cannot have this. So at this point, I just really want you guys to be very mindful. And again, this is my opinion. You know, but it starts with someone and I guess I just have to be that person because I cannot just sit around and just know that this is going to be some BS, you know, and, and it's definitely bullshit, you know, uh, everything that's going on right now is bullshit, okay, from these people coming here to Kanye running for president and this fucking president we got in here right now. Y'all better get y'all thinking caps on cause shit about to get real funky, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised that this lasted this long with this guy in office, like seriously. And I, I mean, I don't have anything against the man or anything because I don't fall in that category where whatever he does affects me, you know? I'm retired, so, but I got to speak up for my kids and my kids' kids and my, they kids' kids, you know? I want my voice to be heard when I'm not here anymore. I want people to go back and look at my videos and say she tried. You know, somebody got to start somewhere. and. I just think that we all just need to really, really buckle down. And if you're not, you know, very boisterous or outgoing or whatever, and you want to just keep that close knit with your children or whatever, and go ahead and do your thing in your home, that's okay. You do that. You know, you make sure that your kids is okay. You know, that that's where so many people are getting, you know, off the grid. We gotta level up for these kids, baby. We gotta be better than what our parents were. And not saying that our parents were not good. I mean, we had some, some of us had some great parents, you know, and we just need to be better. So our children will want to be better and their children will want to be better. You know, greatness is everything. And I just feel like there's a a lot of great young people coming up as well as older people right now that's our race that really are really scared to shine. That's scared to come up out of that shell and just, 
you know, speak their mind or just explore this world like they really should. It's a lot to offer out here. And please talk to your children and let them know. Don't keep them stuck and acting like that, you know, this is the only place you can go. Sometimes you gotta get the hell out of here and go somewhere where you don't know anybody and get your life. You know, it, it, it it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not wrong to leave where you're from to start a new life and know that things are going to be better and your children are going to be better and you're not going to have to worry about them walking down the street, you know? And I'm not saying this shit don't happen all over, because it does, so don't get to hitting me up talking about, oh, this shit happened everywhere. It do. I know that. I packed my kids up several times and got the fuck out of here, you know? So, and I wish I would have stayed gone because I wonder what my life would be like, to be honest. I've always wondered what would my life or my children's life be like right now had I not came back. People, don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Want more and more and more and more for your children. Make sure that this is I mean, you get one shot at this shit, that's it. One shot, and it's over. It, it's nothing, it's no more, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I want us to be able to, when you're done raising your children, and you're at a, your peak, I call it, you know. I want us to be able to look back and say, job well done, you know. Job well done, and pat yourself on the back. Job well done, don't that sound good? Just to your heart. See, I keep telling y'all, I'm a protector of hearts. I want to I wanna do what the heart, you know, what makes the heart feel good, you know, because mine's been broken, and I don't think it'll ever be the same again. So I'm in search of helping people mend hearts and in the process, hoping that mine will mend in the midst of that. And... For my followers that know me personally, you know exactly what I'm speaking of. So, um, with that being said, I just really, really, really would love feedback on um, these children going back to school. And I also would like to um, see if anyone is interested in coming and sitting on the panel next week and speaking about this. If, you, if this is something you guys really want to dig into and talk about it more, I'm okay with that because, like I said, I have 16 grandchildren, so I'm willing to listen to each and every one of you guys speak and say how you feel and what you think. I just know no children are going to keep on a mask in the school. I don't want to keep on a mask. I had to go to the store before I came here to get me something to drink and I went in the store and I didn't want to mess up my damn lipstick. So I did not want to put on the mask. And then the man took forever and I'm standing here holding the mask. I'm like, motherfucker, if you don't. But anyway, yeah. So what we what we gotta do is we gotta we gotta look at the big picture, y'all. We gotta make sure that we're looking at the big picture because what's going on is they they they, they on some bullshit, y'all. They on some bullshit and they trying to get our kids back in this in this schoolhouse and I don't know what's the rush. I mean I don't get it. What what what's the rush? What what am I missing? You know. I, I don't give a fuck about they funding, you know, because they funding ain't gonna make sure that my babies is okay. And their funding ain't gonna make sure that we eat, you know what I'm saying? And their funding is for them, it's not for us. 
and every single student that sits in a chair with these at these schools you can get you can best believe there's a ticket on every student that comes through that door and they're getting compensated for it okay um i also would like to just let you guys know that i mean getting a really 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 good feedback on um this so i have expanded to youtube so i'm in the process of getting all the older videos over there so you may see some that are more recent than the older ones but that's okay i'll get them all over there eventually um so they won't be in no particular order um i do want to just thank every one of you personally and tell you guys that we have we, we gotta do better y'all as a unity we gotta do better if we don't do better, I don't know where we're going to be at in the next 10, you know, five, five years. And that's really sad to really not know where we're going to be in five years. The rate that we're going, I mean, hell, it's going to be children running around here raising themselves because all the parents are going to be dead. So we got we got to stop the madness. I mean, we got to cut it out. We got to you know, we got to start fighting again. I mean, what happened to that? I mean, these motherfuckers don't fight no more. What happened to put down the guns and put up your dukes? I mean, that sounds good. I have to do a segment on that. But yeah, I mean, whatever happened to that? And then you take your L and you take your ass home. And then you go on to train yourself up. And then if you want to get it again, then you get to fight again. You don't go home and get a gun and come back and kill the nigga or the bitch because you done got fucked up. That ain't how this shit go. And I don't know who told him it's, it's okay. I mean, I know emotions are high and people, you know, they act off instincts and they go. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. <laughs> so everything that I speak to you guys about, everything. It's from experience because I'm not going to come on here and speak to you guys about anything that I have not been through myself because I can't tell you about it if I ain't been there. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. I don't think so. I think if you can learn from somebody else's mistake and they're willing to share their experience with you, then you shouldn't have to have that experience. You shouldn't have to have that heartbreak. You shouldn't have to have that, um, that hopelessness, that everything. I mean, the experience comes from so many different levels, you know, and every different level can be a different experience. And it's called life, okay? So what we need to do is just focus on just being better individuals. Because if you're better, then you can show better. If your heart is pure, then you can go out in this world and speak a pure heart, a pure words, and you don't even have to open your mouth. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a, a wonderful evening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Anchor Radio. And I have a great letter that came in that I'm going to read. So you guys definitely want to tune in to that. Um, I do want to give my shout outs. Um, BMB, the beauty mark brand. I am getting with her so she can come in and go ahead and talk about these products because y'all probably wonder who the hell because I'm always shouting her out. But shout out to my baby BMB. Uh, shout out to um, Miss G. Great interview, I appreciate you. I'm so glad you took time out your busy schedule to come. Thank you.
Um, I also want to shout out to everybody that's been on my platform because it's all been just love, you know. I do want to let you know if you're interested in coming on this platform, inbox me. I mean, hit me up. I got my email is cpprinting25 at gmail.com. And then that's also attached to my KC Smoke session on YouTube. So you can um, inbox me however you like to get in touch with me. And um, we'll just do it like that. And I'll just be sitting back and waiting for feedback. And, you know, just, I just wanted to put something on your mind today to talk about it too. Because everything's just been so so hyphy and just moving so fast and you know we losing people here but then I'm losing people in my family so it's hit me extremely hard and I don't take death easy so I don't want to deal with you know no more deaths no more children no more young men no more women no more babies no more you guys you guys have a great day, great evening, I'll say, and um, I'll see you guys on Thursday. One love, peace.